Hi guys, this is a paper I wrote on spiritual pipelines. I would like to share it with you. Spiritual pipelines. What is a spiritual pipeline? It's like a real pipeline with knowledge flowing through. There are two types of knowledge on the face of the earth. The knowledge of truth and the knowledge of lies. To better understand what the pipeline is, you, you have to look at it from a perspective of good and evil. There are s some people that support good no matter what, and some people that support evil no matter what. They are the realistic representation of both good and evil so let's call the good side G and the evil side E if you want information about how to do good you will have to go to side G the same is for side E if you want information about how to do evil. So let us look at let us look at both sides as dams that have supply that are supplying water. The good side supply good water. The evil side supply evil water. So now you can understand the spiritual pipeline. Now let me state scientific facts. Everything that you learn, you learn it, every good thing that you learn, you learn it from good people. Every evil thing that you learn, you learn it from evil people back to the spiritual pipeline in reality there is a dam for truth and a dam for lies so how do i know that what is truth or the knowledge of truth everything that is real is truth so that makes lies also part of the truth because a lie is real. That might be a bit confusing and I agree it needs further explanation. What is a lie? A lie is the information about something that that's not real. Or you can look at it as information that has not yet materialized. So, the knowledge used to tell a lie is real, but the information that is being given to you is not. So, what is real about a lie? Only the telling of it. The telling of it is giving information, but the information given is not real. So in a nutshell, it is real to tell lies, but the content of what you are saying is not real. So where does lies come from? It comes from a source. Where did the source come from? It came from a spirit. What is a spirit? A spirit is a metaphysical body made up of energy, information, and power. I got a, a, the, ex, the meaning of metaphysics from Wikipedia, and I will read out what I got for you. Metaphysics is a branch of psychology, of 
philosophy concerning concerned with explaining the fundamental nature of of the of being and the world although the term is not easily defined traditionally metaphysics attempts to answer two basic questions in the broadest possible terms what is there what is it like a person who study, studies metaphysics would be called either a metaphysicist or a metaphysician. The metaphysician attempts to clarify the fundamental notions by which people understand the world, including existence, the definition of object, philosophy, property of philosophy, space-time, Cause, cause, causality and possibility. The central branch of metaphysics is ontology, the investigation into the basic categories of being and how they relate to each other. That's the end of Wikipedia's meaning. A spirit is a dam of knowledge knowledge gives you power and information which is two parts of the spirit and the idea itself is energy that is in the air every time you get an idea to do something you feel the idea as part of you before the idea came you were feeling empty then when it came you suddenly felt complete so there, are, there was a transfer of energy that happened physically. That is proof of many things happening. Let's examine them. One, you needed an idea. Two, you activated your mind and sent it on a quest. Three, it found the spirit and connected you to it so your needs could be met. Many people would argue that ideas come from inside of you. Well, if that was true, then you wouldn't need to go to school. Everywhere there is knowledge, there is ideas, and a spirit is responsible for it. Well, guys, I'm throwing this out there, and I'm waiting for your comments. See you in the next video.